Senator Nkui, uh, some have described your movement and some of your colleagues as a selfish one, one that is premised on your own personal uh, uh, desire to return to, uh, to the National Assembly next time. What exactly are the thoughts of some of you who move today? Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, the, with due respect to the areas which the Honorable Majority Leader has just outlined uh, is sad. It shouldn't be so. Uh, democracy should be a well-defined platform where the people become central. And uh, I agree with him to a great extent, but we must understand that it is not ticket hunting. Rather, if we want to talk on that, I for one has been offered through some mediums of reconciliation or so-called reconciliation for me to pick my ticket. I'm not interested in picking tickets. So many well-meaning members and senators are not concerned about picking tickets. What we are concerned with is process in which internal democracy becomes sacrosanct, where the people are and continue to be relevant in the scheme of things in determining who they choose to fly the flag of membership of their party at various levels. This is the crux of the matter. And this is what we found disappointingly lacking in APC, for which we were part and parcel and could testify in so many instances in the first coming, in the first few months of the emergence of APC. What gave APC the confidence of Nigerians is the ability of APC to put its head above personal interests to make sure the vote of the people or their representatives as delegates or executive do count and matter at the end of any process, be it a Congress or primary election. Senator, it does look like your party, the APC, where you moved from, has suffered this one. Are you having the assurance that you may be able to get a return ticket in the PDP? Well, like I told you in the first place, I wasn't chasing tickets. For your information, I'm not even contesting to return to the Senate. My venture is contesting for the governorship. But whether I'm contesting to come back as a senator or contesting to come back as a governor or not at all, certainly what is required is a free and fair process which is completely lacking we noticed and nigerians have already confirmed this so in my own opinion it is not about a ticket Unkui is not begging anyone to give him a ticket and the ticket that is being guaranteed for me even if there is in the party i'm now going to it's not the party it's not the ticket i'm chasing so, Therefore, I mean, Senator, Senator, I, we should saying, understand. Senator, sorry, if I'm, if I'm a quickly about in, sorry, if I'm a button, Senator, are you point. saying the that what you've seen in the APC uh, is not in the PDP because some people have condemned that the two parties have similar problems? I can assure you I have a test of both. I have been in this game down the grassroots for the past 30 years. And I can guarantee you, yes, I left PDP for the same kind of indices of behavior, <clears throat> arrogance, and lack of internal democracy. Now I can assure you, the party I have joined, I can tell you I have a 
booklet that I can refer to, and I have the list of the same executive and delegates that are now going to do the next election come this few months to come, which is completely absent. When the APC will write something according to their own statutes, according to their own constitution, according to their electoral law, they chase not to do the bidding of what is right. The whole thing is shrouded in personality issues. The governors are taken to be like they are untouchable. They are like gods. They are like prophets who profess what must happen and what must not happen. All in right. democracy, the people, All right. whether Senator, we like it or not. Let's allow the majority leader to, to weigh in on this one and the implication of this for the APC. Honorable Bajabi Amila, as it stands right now, if your party is losing grip in the National Assembly, and there are words on the street that we might be seeing more defections in the coming days when the, uh, the, the National Assembly comes to act from recess, is your party in trouble? Uh, listen, um, people are diff fishing from different ponds. Right now, PDB is fishing from APC pond. The same thing will go, will work uh, uh, the other way. Let, let, me, let me very quickly just address what Senator Hunkui said. Senator Hunkui's reputation precedes him. Um, from my understanding and from what I know, he's widely popular in his constituency. Um, he's very much on ground. And I'm, I'm very glad to hear that it wasn't the allure of automatic ticket that took him to PDP. And I believe him. Uh, but he, if he wants to be true to himself, he can speak for himself. But he knows the majority of the people that moved at least in the national both houses was because of the carrot that was dangled for automatic tickets. Now, APC introduced what you call direct primaries. He talked about having true representation of party members. That was what was done in uh, Oshu State. That was the, what was done in other elections that are the, 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 in recent elections direct primaries, where every member of the party votes in the primary election. How more democratic can you want it? That's number one. Number two, I would want Senator Hongkui to join me. Let us fight this cause together for people to stay on the platform they were elected by their constituents. Let those who have decamped sign and say that they will not receive or accept any automatic ticket from any party. Because from my understanding, they have been lured by the prospect of automatic ticket from PDP. If we are talking internal democracy on one hand in APC or lack thereof, what happens in the PDP where people have been struggling, people have been working for the party, and then you now cross from APC to grab the ticket. Where lies the internal democracy that you preach? Majority if leader, you're going to get let automatic me ticket in come in here and ask you this one. Uh, in, in, a, in, a, in, in, in a situation a lot of people have described as a depleting situation of your party. Going into 2019, is your, because we, see this, we saw this happen to the PDP in 2015, is your party in trouble ahead of that crucial election? Can your party return to power in 2019? That's a big one. If you may answer just in a few seconds, please. I mean, it's very, the, the answer is very clear. You heard the, chair, the, the, the party chair, chairman, what he said. It's all about grassroots, grassroots uh, politics. You know, um, you, can, you can sit in Abuja. I can sit in Abuja. I can speak for myself. I can sit in Abuja and cross today. It doesn't mean that I'm popular in my constituency. There are reasons why people cross. And a lot of people are not honest with themselves. There's something I don't agree with in this country, in, in, in our politics. And that's called zoning. And that has caught up with a lot of our members. And, but they, don't want to keep, they do not want to keep faith with that tradition in their constituency. So they really have no chance back home based on the zoning that has caught up with them. All right. But they want to go and try their luck in another, in another party. That's uh, that's honorable, honorable. We, we, need, we need to go now because we are out of time. But let me, uh, in 20 seconds, allow, allow uh, Senator Unkui to tell us this. Senator Unkui, in 20 seconds, 
Are we expecting more defections to your side in the coming days from the APC? Just in 20 seconds as we close the program. Definitely yes, because part of what we have now agreed is that the APC has turned against itself through the medium of lack of internal democracy. So you'll right. see more. Okay, thank you so much. I, I really must thank you both for coming on the program. Uh, Majority Leader, Honorable Member of the House, Femba Jabi Amila, and Senator Unkui representing Kaduna North. Thank you so much for your time on the program this evening. That's our show tonight, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shimon Kimalwe. Bye-bye.